Hi there YouTubers and weavers. Well, maybe you can tell from, I know it's a, the camera is a bit far away, but I did that on purpose. Maybe you can tell by looking at the loom that I've got some warp threads over the top and the rattle is on. So that means I'm starting a new project. But before I get to that, what I really want to do today is show you a little bit more of this um, material that I made for the purpose of having a new shirt. So what I want to do, here's the material and I know this is hard to tell what's going on here, but I had said that I would let you know how much shrinkage and drawing that I got on this thing. So unfortunately it's monstrous and it's hard to get this to work, but let's do this. Now remember this was 39 inches in the reed when I first slayed it and I got it down to I think 37 and a half or 37 and a quarter with draw in. So let's put this right there and see where we are now. With no tension on it, well, with virtually no tension on it, I've got 35 inches of actual cloth. My goal had been 36 or a full yard, but 35 is not too bad. I think uh, we'll be able to work with this for uh, cutting the, the pieces out for a, um, uh, a shirt. Now, let's turn it the other way and see what we get for length. So there's one yard. Let me grab onto it right there. You may remember that I had four yards measured on the loom under tension. This is done off the loom without tension. So there's two yards. Yeah, stay put, stupid thing. Three yards. I imagine this won't be quite a full yard this time, but we'll see what we get. I know it's not a full yard. Three yards and 28 and a half inches. So that's with no tension at all on here. I still think that, that will be more than enough to get that um, working. So there you see the blue and white striped 16-2 Cotillon that will be turned into most of my new shirt. Then there is also just the plain old white that will also be part of the shirt, although far less. And this piece is not as wide. It's 29 inches wide, 29 and a half. But for what we need, that's easy to do. The shirt, I'm come closer. will be a Victorian shirt from 
Patterns from Time Past by Folkware. Um, some of you know I'm uh, an interpreter at Heritage Hill State Park for, it's a historical park. So the intention is that that will be one of my work shirts when I work doing historical interpretation of the late 1800s. So that's the deal on the shirt as far as it's gotten. Um, it's now totally out of my hands. I've told you before I'm not much at sewing. I can put a hem on a towel but that's about where my expertise ends. So the material has been through the wash. I ran it through the wash machine on a normal cycle. I ran it through the dryer on a normal cycle because that's how the shirt itself will be washed once it's finished. So we wanted to pre-finish it the same way. Anyways, it's now up to my wife who's going to be doing the sewing. Um, and I'm not going to push her on that. I'm sure she'll get around to it when she's ready, but hopefully it won't be too long. Anyways, when it is done, I'll give you just a quick look at it. But for now, this is just a short update video saying that that's done. As for the new project that's on the loom underneath that cloth that's hanging over it right now, I'll do a different video on that um, in the not very distant future. So until next time around on YouTube, bye-bye.